Happy Halloween, everybody. I am in a mood, and today that mood is not just Halloween, but nostalgia. And I've been thinking lately about bringing you guys some experiences of nostalgia that maybe you went through, but definitely I went through when I was younger. So I started playing this game that we're about to play about 20 years ago, um, which sounds really sad. I'm getting old. But I used to play this all the time at school. And so it, it used to be on, it wasn't on Cool Math, but it was on one of those kind of um, just like learning experience kids game websites um, and I remember it being so old or so long ago that I played it that you'd win the game and it would offer you like a downloadable version of Windows Vista which is kind of weird but anyways this game is called Garfield's Scary Scavenger Hunt uh, there's two versions of it we're gonna do the first one today and we're gonna do the second one tomorrow uh, and we're gonna play through it and hopefully if you guys played this game, you kind of get nostalgia baited with this this game, but we're going to play through it, um, we're going to have fun, and we're going to talk about uh, some of my favorite things about Garfield's Scary Scavenger Hunt. So please, do enjoy. Now you can find this game literally anywhere. I can't remember the website uh, that I'm playing this on, but you literally just look up Garfield's Scary Scavenger Hunt, and it's going to take you here. It's a little intro video, but the whole point of the game, both versions of the game, is at the bottom of your screen you have this little scarometer. Uh, your goal is to not click on too many things that are going to scare you because once that scare meter is built all the way up, Garfield basically dies uh, and you lose the game. On your left side of the screen, there are going to be a list of donuts. Now, our goal is to find, or not just donuts, but a variety of pastries. And your goal is to go around the scary mansion, whatever, and find all of them hidden somewhere without clicking on things that are going to scare Garfield. So, it's a scavenger hunt, but you're trying not to kill Garfield, if that makes any sense. So, uh, you have to do a bunch of different tasks. On the right, um, you can use the keys. I'm just going to use my keyboard. Uh, and then you get all these icons here um, of, like, items that will help you through the game. I prefer the second version of this game, so today you might hear me complain a little bit about how I don't like the way that the first game um, is played. They definitely improved it, in my opinion, with the second version. But we have seven different types of donuts to get on the left side, and we have to get all of the items on the right side in order to make our way through. So, to start, you're starting at the beginning of the mansion, and the front door's locked. So, uh, we have to go... We can't go down. I know you can't get through the front gate. You're gonna run into stuff. But, uh, if we go to the right here... This chest, I think, is open. So the goal is, like, click on the chests, or click on different things, and pray that there's no monsters in there. Now, I do have some nostalgia for it where I still remember where things are, um, so I know what not to click. But for example, um, once we come across something that I know there is, like, a scary head or something going on in, I'll click on it and show you what happens to the scary meter. Uh, we do have a front key. But, knowing this game, we do have to go in this direction. So there's John, cowering, whatever. Um, listen very carefully to the... They'll give you little hints every once in a while. Go to the backyard here. Go to the first gate. For whatever reason, this house has two separate fences with open gates. Go through the back here. Um, <laughs> click on a tombstone. A ghost is going to pop out and scare Garfield. So that one's not too bad. Some of them are, like, very scary to Garfield for whatever reason. So you just gotta be careful where you click. These ghosts aren't doing too much damage. We go over this direction. Um, obviously you need the shovel. We picked that up over on the right side of the front of the house. So we're gonna dig there. And this grave inside it are buried the... Sour Cream Donuts. Can't think of anything I want to eat less at the moment. Uh, and once you get prizes, your scarometer dips down. So if you are, like, just about to get to the death point of the scare meter, um, it's best to find stuff. This tombstone, uh, 61978, is, it's the same number every time you play the game. Sometimes the codes change. But that one, I know for a fact, is always the same. Uh, because it's close to my brother's birthday, not the year, but, um, uh, that's how I always used to remember it. But that number becomes important, so remember 61978. All right, we've done everything we can do outside. Now we go in the mansion. Now, in the first game, the mansion makes sense. In the second game, it gets a little wilder. Um, but let's start by going to the right here. Now, you don't want to click on the guy because he's going to drop his thing, and uh, Garfield's going to get scared. Same thing with the rug here. Actually, you can't click on the rug in this version. You can on the second. 
this one, there's nothing there. Sometimes I forget what's in the first game and what's in the second game. Um, but this door's locked, so we need to find a green key at some point. That's all we can do on the right side of the house. Let's go upstairs to start. Blue door, also locked. We need a blue key for that. Um, now these... Power of hindsight, I know which one the donuts are hidden under. But for example, if I were to click this one, <laughs> the monster scare meter's gonna pop. Here we go, we got more donuts. These are the... Oh, we gotta click it. Uh, mini cinnamon donuts. I would much rather have those than the sour cream. Alright, so we still have another blue key over on the left side here. Um, there's a blue key. And that mirror comes into play in the second game, I remember. So we have the blue key. Go in the bedroom. This here opens if you click it. And go in here. That is terrifying. Um, so, in order to get those from the mouse, we have to find the cheese that is on the right side of our screen there. But I do know that if we click this here, I don't think there's anything in the bathroom in the first game. Nope. It's significantly significant for the that is for me. But if we click that switch, then something happens, and that thing that happens is the attic stairs pop down. So let's go up to the attic. This is where, I mentioned the cool math games thing, this is where this game actually gets educational. Um, because you have to figure out some of these puzzles. And this is actually how I learned the I before E rule in English, because I was like a five-year-old when I first played this game. So um, you have to do in alphabetical order, or not alphabetical order, excuse me, that's a, a later game. Um, but you have to spell Garfield, so start with G, A, R, F, I, E L D. And if you've never played this before and you have no idea what you're supposed to spell, then good luck. Then it becomes a word scramble. Um, uh, box of chocolate covered donuts. I'm not a big chocolate fan, which a lot of people find very weird. So I would prefer the cinnamon donuts. Okay, uh, we've done everything up here except get the cheese for the mouse, so we'll come back here. Let's move our way through this side of the house here. Um, this is the main kind of, not living room, but library, cozy area. Um, the, this is the one that's alphabetical. So I think the first one is B. And look here, F, G, H. Um, these are, the, the funny thing about this is there's a lot of Easter eggs to Garfield. This used to be on like the Garfield official website, um, which isn't, super relevant necessarily anymore, except for the fact that the, as of me recording this, there's a new Garfield movie that just came out. Um, but all of those book titles are actual, like, publications. That have been, uh -oh. I'm gonna need a flashlight. Okay, I forgot to get the flashlight. That's my bad. Um, I do know that there's an eyeball hidden under there, so I'm not gonna click it. But if we go in this direction, we got a red key. I don't think we've been to the red door yet, though go in the kitchen. Um, I think there's a head in here. There's a head in the second game. It's really kind of creepy. These mice are going to try to lure you. There's a the flashlight. Um, you can't go through the mouse hole in the first game. This is me complaining about the first game again. We'll play the second one tomorrow. The second one is goaded, as the kids say. Alright, now we have the flashlight. Now we can go down here. Um, is there anything in this direction? I don't think so. So let's go to the left. Then we gotta go back up to the kitchen once we talk to this dude. Something happened in the kitchen. Alright. So now we gotta go back upstairs. It's kind of tedious when you have to go back and forth between rooms. It'd be fun if you could, like, speedrun this game, but there's a lot of back and forth and the controls aren't really fast enough to warrant it, like a speed run. I do think this house is going to be You found a muffin. Awesome. Alright, now i got to go back.
back downstairs again. So, kitchen, downstairs, kitchen, downstairs. Okay. And we still have another cheese, but the cheese... We just got the muffin from the fridge, where's the cheese? I can't remember. I'll figure it out. Have we looked inside the fireplace yet? Is the cheese outside? No, it's not. No, because we go... Okay, so the fireplace is back in this direction, right? I'm just trying to remember where the cheese is at. And we still don't have the green key. Okay, so now we're outside. Now we go through the leaves. Now we fall down. Now we're in the cellar. And we get the blueberry fans. We should be able to go out this open door now. I'm still confused about the cheese. Um, so... Oh! I remember where it's at. Okay. We haven't gone to the left side of the house yet. This is fun. Uh, the more you walk... Let's see if it does it this time. The more you walk through this frame picture changes. Maybe it's just the second game, but the picture will change orientations. There's the cheese. Okay. So, make sure your scare meter is low when you do this, because this is a fast scare field. Oh, I thought it was worse than that. My bad. Okay, we do have the red key, though. Go in here. Now, we don't have to memorize it because that 61978 again. But if you click here, there's a safe. Click the safe, and you go six, one, Nine, seven, and eight. And you have the chocolate chip muffins. My wife loves chocolate chip muffins. Okay. Click here. There's the green key. Now we got the green key. We also have the cheese. So, which do you want to do first? I think it's probably easiest if we go... That doesn't really matter. Let's just go all the way across the house first and do the music wing first. It's my least favorite puzzle in the entire game. Not because I have a bad memory, but just because it takes so long. So you go through here, and you click on any of the instruments, and now it's a kind of a repeat after me quiz. Almost like a like a Simon. Uh, you know those like those Simon video game little handheld things? So um, you go tuba, piano, and then it's going to continue. Tuba, piano, Clarinet. It's always different, which is nice. It keeps on your toes. Tuba, piano, clarinet, trumpet. Do, do, do. Tuba, piano, clarinet, trumpet, piano. Tuba, piano, clarinet, trumpet. I think it's only six rounds, so hopefully this last one. Tuba, piano, clarinet, trumpet, piano, clarinet. I almost forgot it there for a second. Tuba, piano, clarinet, trumpet, piano, clarinet. And if you screw it up, you gotta do the whole thing again. Now you gotta wait till this finishes. So why don't we take a glass of water? Powdered sugar donuts. Last but not least, we gotta go upstairs. And the thing I do, another another thing I don't like about the first game is there's no like ending challenge. If that makes any sense. Like once you get the final thing of donuts, I'll show you. Like you hit the donuts, and that's it. And you just win. And that's it. So. Yeah, like, I would far prefer if you had, like, a mini game at the end, which is the case with the second game. So, thank you for joining me today. Happy Halloween. We'll see you tomorrow to play the second game, which, in my opinion, is the far superior version of Garfield's Scary Scavenger Hunt. Thank you very much. Check out other videos on the channel, and we will see you soon to do some more nostalgia baiting.